Right, in this video I'm going to convert the OSET 12.5 lead acid batteries, these two lumps, which are 12 volts each, make up 24 volts to these two. These are 3S batteries, 11.1 volts each, which makes up 22.2 volts. They're considerably lighter than the lead acid, as you can see, two of them probably don't even come close to one battery. These I think are 10,000 milliamps. The ones I'm using are 6,200 milliamps. You can buy all different sizes, all different types. This is the ones I've got just now. Uh, I think I've even seen up to 20,000. And you can also buy straight 6S, which you don't need to configure any sort of uh, cabling, which I'll show you shortly how I've connected them all together. Okay, you'll need to make up a wiring harness to connect this to the OSET 12.5. Uh, it's quite simple. I, you can use any type of connector you want. I'm using the XT90s. Anything, doesn't matter what you really use. This is what I use for all my uh, kids' RC cars and that, so I've just stuck to that. A bit of basic soldering skills, but you'll find loads of that on the internet. Dead simple, dead easy to do. Some some uh, good quality wire. I can't remember the, the gauge of this wire, but similar to what, what's there. Um, basically, negative to positive, and then obviously positive to positive of the bike, and negative to the negative of the bike. That's it. So it's brown, but it's, it's meant to be black, so I had. So that's how you make up the wire and harness. Pretty straightforward. And that will give you 22.2 volts. Right, this is how I charge my LiPo batteries. It's a Sky RC T100. It's a dual cat charger, so I can charge both batteries at the same time. It can also charge lots of other different types of batteries. Pretty much most of the batteries that are out there, this is able to charge. I can storage charge them, balance charge them. It's perfect. Um, just connect the wire and harness up. Sometimes I like to wrap a bit of tape around that just to secure it. Speed connectors are not the best. Like so. What I do now, because there's a, a large gap, is I just made up, I folded up a bit of cardboard and, and just put it on top of it. Same as before. Get a screw. In properly. And now, if we turn the bike on. It's got full power. I'll just take this back off again. To show it actually working. Turn the power up a bit. That's it, roughly about half power. Now the 6,200 or 6,300 
you get roughly, I'm getting roughly at half power, 45 minutes of runtime. Now if I was to upgrade that to 12,000, I'm assuming you get close to double that. But to me, the most important thing is the weight. My son's only four year old and the weight makes a, a massive, massive difference. Right, thank you.